Pencil Factory. Oh, what's a Pencil Factory? I had to It was just time for Jason. They had to go. Got it. Well, it's cool. It's cool. Keep in mind, one of the people that live there is playing a solo acoustic set. That's probably. That's who's name or something. All right, well, thank you all for coming. Yeah, thank you to Electric Eye. It's a really cool space. And, yeah, it's great that they'll have us all here. Um, so, some of these are old. Uh, some of these are very new. Uh, some of them I wrote at the Cirque Research Institute at Scudic Point, Maine, uh, on Acadia National Park. Um, some of them I wrote while I was in... Uh, Campobello Island in uh, Canada and New Brunswick. Uh, some of them I wrote here. Um, and this this first one is the the most recent, and it's called Event at the Beach. Tan aquatics limping to the beach beyond a wisp to teach, scumming coddled leeches brimming quail fauna, birds and flowers, herbs aplenty. Grinding regal bitters lately, chained so heavy. Where's the break I've clamored for? Pine scent sand pit born forlorn, a ne'er do wells beginning quest. Agave nectar salve upon my reach's end, seek and rest. Licenses to dream of dance, relieved of tests, egregious lent. Pack of bourgeois karma crazies aiming for a lifeless champ. Crime in hand, time is served, life's like shackles. Solitary doesn't do the justice do. Tight ensemble, knight in armor. Training wheels adjust the martyr, pointing starward, forever harbored. Birth of maiming island nations, lino cuts of wild aphids wishing they played fiddleheads. Virtuosic beats churn herds on isolated minarets. Tip of streamlined lean machines engineered into perfection. Pyropsychic camouflage illuminates the secret. Not enough so you could see it, leaving the cranes behind, their perch akin to malachite, sunbathed and listless, bold. Parakeet completes canoes, entombed caboose mired for you. Owners keep perusing roost in dremeled grooves, uprooted views. Repeat, repeat what you have said, mimic echoes, sound obtuse. The brakes removed elicit tweets among the deaf, while pairs repaired unloading stairs unwind upon the studded beach. Slim reprise, mylar sheath guise enables gazing sun. Couth enraged the pious ones in prayer for deep apology. What confession understates is leaping unprepared. So they go, the lemmings home, completing the affair. Thank you. So these, this next one is uh, about the season. We're in the middle of the fall. As we wade into the autumn, I woke up bitter with sweet days ahead of me, hair with texture of anemone. We are slices of reef, injected with the extract of the morning. Corral the tone of the patina, erosion of sepia, the glue of this season's album. There are no photographs of us. It is criminal as we are heist fiends, baiting for a rush in new forms. No contract must be signed to be together in privacy. No coincidence is describable until it is discussed in veins, my presumed concern with eavesdroppers. How have I been branded the designated reliever of the oak that wilts with reason? Ch leaves of change so varicose, taut with sense of fall. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this next one is about um, looking at something that you might think has uh, little people living inside it. In this case, a glass of soda and all the bubbles, uh, they all lead their own little lives and they all live them together and they rise to the top and then they pop just like us. Ruptured suds rushing within bubble city's inhabitants, plugging rapture-blasted communicants, impartial to refuse illusion kits on a trade ship en route to the abuse of human limits. Read minutes in sign language, mute lunatics coup suitors in units, swearing by blood. 
One who searches the institution derails Lane's mitigating confusion. Withstanding that one follows the rules, speaking honestly, embracing his actions, assistance becomes the expectation for those who pay. There has been an invasion, nauseating defeat of elation, to stand on oneself and plant an incredulous flag. The cripple of tenuous ability leaks incredible molasses, unpalatable excuses defensible only in laughter. How can one stay if their home is destroyed, peruse through the desolate lowland, avoiding the pecking of loons, poised as succinct royalty. I have blistered from stagnation, subject to a wrath. Thank you. Uh, so these next two, I'm going I'm to read them together. Um, and ultimately, they're about having amazing people in your life who, even though they say amazing things all the time, you can't remember what they said. And it makes them less amazing to you because you can't tell other people what they've done and what they've said. The zipper implanted between tailored lips and your words prevents our friendship's immediacy. You're an amazing seamstress. If the thread I offered you was at all malleable, then we would be braided together. Explanations of rusted prison bars and feathers of inconsequential activity force you to silently ask for withdrawal, slighted again. In alignment, we were mediums, predictive to the fault of our desires. In exchange for depleting our minds, bliss was obtained in my tightest cabinet, but in considering the miracle, I have already forgotten it all. Cycles of rain in the evening draining our happiness, leaving us waterlogged, my head in my hands again. Fragile composure disintegrates as progression becomes unsustainable. Etchings of our final stanza unfortunately bode unreadable. Signatures of personal expression chiseled orally in air of circumstance. As we sit down to share dinner, I log the first half of our epitaph. How can I look at my companions and not remember a single quotation they have ever uttered to me verbatim? Descriptions of articulated thoughts from friends I dearly love should be permanent in my life. I refuse to distort their purity with associations from the mind's lenses. If I could remember identically the words with no attachment of moment or feeling, I will be a better human. A listener is a faulty recorder, so I am no longer satisfied. What I have forgotten is truly irreplaceable, and I must begin my training. Thank you. So these next two are also going to be read in sequence with each other. Um, and the idea was that uh, each line is opposite to... The, so the first line of the first one is the opposite of the first one and the second one, and so on and so on. So, yeah, this is called Umbra Matter. The back of my head has drones humming in tritones. Friction builds heat until the grating is unbearable. Using cameras, I watch the operator punch in a sequence, setting up satellites for a cautious rotation. Lifted by itself like a terrace step, revolving with unknown purpose, coincidentally rigging the outcome. You mistook. There are no alarms here. All alerts have been cleverly sidetracked. A bunker with two-way mirrors is ablaze. My umbra has been desecrated with your presence. I prefer my deepest shadow be only occupied with direct descendants. Space is the antithesis of matter. Embrace it with Marfan hands, spindly enough to get the point across. Thin and quiet as the harpist on opium. You wait patiently to deliver your melodies. Once I have heard them, I will have already ascended to heights lost in the spirit maple where no one will be able to find me. Whirring behind a sulking premonition, small beads of ice collect on your thunder sheet. Whistling the shades of a columbine through an aperture, I can taste the liable bubbling under the transmission. Displacing what I see in your behavior, Paranoia is vivid and real, but I am only standing here. Our tempers are unequal yet just. 
we are confusingly similar. But this is not the interrogation room to extinguish your doubt. Physically occupying this site is not my intention, like the petals on a fresh burial outsiders need not disturb. Matter is the antithesis of space. Detest it bitter like anise, complex enough to refine your hatred. Post-delivery, I have fallen below the door to a cellar full of aging wines where I can dwell on you with unlimited affection. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this one's about uh, cough syrup. Uh, it's about DXM <laughs> on, some, on some crazy. Uh, not so much uh, an experience that I've had, but kind of what I would think it would be like if you were to have uh, a wild one. Hegemony has an Olney's legion inflamed, psychophantic bumper for my glutamate's production. Acrobatic dancers chucking Trappist flames, barometric pressure in a crucial state, sacrificial epitomes confess the new vials rebound. Crimping trifled cellophane amoebas cultivating rain, less abomination for a fertile maven colluding dew-kissed ruins. Dress a kerplaque in golden broth, entangled with an icy mint, Repulsive leases clouded with sin keep me honest as the quilt is knit. Rest assured I have the depth to race them all in Nile crisp. Crest allures that cradled lady, lust reveres her addled ladder, climbing to the apex of a simple matter, common chatter, breast obscured like baby urchins, tunneling the beach as if the armadillo raids the silo. Grain and fur I tried to find a man to earn, yet under earth a matchless burr attached to time's fertility. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, the, this one is, uh, about itis. We all kind of have itises. It's kind of different ailments we can't really explain. So here we go. Forms of itis have me suffer with the best of them. Calm response clots the continuum, let it be done. Oral moss begins to wilt, upon my guilt beckons epoch's hilt. Mounted like my soul within a mannequin, let it be done. Pus retains the water best expelled while I was ill. Unfit to reason, with a body emaciated, cream of last resist. Abrasions raw from scrubbing saws indoctrinated into cabinet. Squealing run, according grunt, to translate feeling that persists, atone to runes which ruined you, marooned on cue, let it be done. Thank you. This next one is about a, uh, a stress dream that I had uh, that was extremely vivid and real and painful, frankly. So here we go. What are you going to do? The opener in a slouching kitchen, my brother tipping the suggestion with a silent cue to my father. Slouching lacquered rinse tiles, a pan of grease on the stove, incalculable degrees of heat. Two searing radiators throwing tangible waves, the rising action, infers preparation for the spill. Who I am half of explains with actions the worth of my hands. Doused in the oil, my flesh is fabric, flash paper, agony, seethed in the wake of my family. My arms, pillars, containers for pain, climax. Disassociation, I default to the drone's view of half number two tackling my extinguished body, hard and flush to grass of tranquil yard. It is the falling action. Speaking forcefully, she says to me, do not punish the little things. Myself slops off. Resolution. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, this one is a little lighter. It's about, um, just kind of, I don't know, being with someone underneath the lamppost in that, in that right, right feeling sort of way. Slippery slums embedded in licorice rope. Diligent prose delivered by an efficient orator, painted in right woes cologne, palatable antonyms. Cross sense idiot broke, dirty pottery imported from bone, narwhals with imploded homes travel the ocean on wafer thin planks of blue ice, loaded with tight bubbles. Champagne tastings abroad, 
Expensive glasses enjoyed, so I can appreciate you more. Toy with a foreign boy, get acquainted. Antiquated tradition with a brisk talk, what a couple. Kiss under the street lamp as a double, Dutch with your two lips tangled, like you've tasted something bitter. Toasting to the death of a magnificent creature, so you can enjoy affluent pleasures. Thank you. So, Thanks. This last one, um, I wrote on a huge rock face, um, and it was beautiful. So, here, we, here it is. Watching the intricacies of thought unfold on the human canvas, we are sitting on a vapor cloud, warmer than the coldest resting grounds of spirit. Take my hands, I'll hoist you upwards, wrapped in this evanescent blanket of lace. Decimating the opulence of comfort will flo float you the solution. Resolve to yawn again, a conditioned excuse to pass your lethargy to others, subliminally sharing what you loathe to feel. The passage of time we experience is a divine radar for the confused. Never ignore the wisdom you do not understand. That is to give up on critical thought, our deepest complex of reasoning. So guide our psyches inward to the soul's invisible reservoir, where we can throw nebula-polished nar marbles into our infinite Tosca, assume the position of a lotus, to interpret the ripple's bloom in evocative layers, one over one, for eternity. Thank you.